Hey everyone, so today I'm sitting down to do my budget for the month of November and also basically the rest of the semester because all that's left for the semester is November, which I'm planning to do a no spend so there won't be much to budget, and then two weeks of the semester of December and then I have a three week break. So the budget for the break obviously will be a bit different um, because I have family visiting me so when my family's here they'll in all likelihood pretty much be paying for all my expenses and then I'll have friends visiting and when they're here I'll be paying for my expenses for the most part so it's a little bit complicated um, and I'm just gonna do my best to make a plan for it all right now all at once so as always um, I just have my planner which I put this brand new cover on I love it so much I've been waiting till November to put this cover on because it just seems really winter to me for some reason so I went ahead and put this cover on so as always I'll be using the note page before the month so I'll be using this note page and then I have scratch paper basically to work my numbers out on and then off screen over here I have a calculator so um all right let's get started so this is not in U.S. currency. I'm going to convert it to U.S. currency. So as most of you know, the way that I do my budget, since I want to do a zero-based budget but I don't have an income, all my income basically is for my student's loan right, student loans right now since I'm in vet school and I can't work in this country legally. Um, so basically what I do is just try to live as cheaply as possible to return as much of my um, living allowance of my loans um, as possible so what I have left and I always round down that way I'll have a few dollars left in my bank account I'm really paranoid about charges coming in late because sometimes in this country charges will literally come like two months late and if you overdraw your bank account they'll just close it down so basically what I do is list the amount that's in my bank account and then take out, um, I'm going to change it to U.S., remove the goal that I have for myself to return um, on my loans, and then remove the amount that I want to save for myself for my break, and then basically what's left is what's going to get me through. So I have 21000 not in U.S. right now, so when you convert that, it's basically 7,777 and um, expenses that I know I'm gonna have are December rent which is 550 okay so that leaves me with seven two two seven and um, I'm going to be pet sitting a lot of animals over break, but I leave it up to the owner whether they pay me at the beginning of break or at the end of the break. So I wanted to allow myself 2000 total, um, but I also want to send back 5500 So obviously these two things added together, like that's not going to work out. So what I was thinking is that... Um, I will just assume that I'll be getting at least 500 US at the beginning of break in my pet sitting. So I'm going to move that to 1500. So break. And then I want to send back 5500. And that leaves me with 227 US basically for November and then like 2.5 weeks of December. So I have that and then I also have um, some like emergency cash in my drawer which is 900. It's not US so just since I'm doing things in US right now, let me convert it. 
so it's it's about 333 US so um, okay so this is what I have basically for the month of November I've already bought my made my meal plan and bought my groceries for the entire month um, I'm not planning to spend any more money at all um, except for I may need some more gas and I'm gonna give myself a little bit of money for the rest of the month for whenever I need produce because I bought salad greens at the beginning of the month and obviously I'm gonna run out sometime within the next four weeks but other than that I ha it's all planned out and I'm really the biggest goal for myself is no eating out and no ordering takeout not even like getting sodas on campus which is my absolute weakness so this is also going to be a no soda November not just no spend November so let's see how I'm going to write this I'm not exactly sure to be completely honest with you so I think I'm going to take so the money that I do allow myself for the rest of November, I think I'm going to take out of this cash that I like have in my drawer. And then the other main thing that I really want to do is anything that I do spend, I really want to write it down. That consistently has been my weak point is actually tracking what I actually spend. You know, even I didn't do a budget for September or October because fail, but last semester even when I was doing the envelopes consistently and only spending money out of the envelopes I still was not actually tracking what I was spending which is the first step to reality am I right so and I feel like it'll be easy to really get on top of myself with that this month because I'm spending nothing like the hardest thing for me is when my friends are like encouraging me to do something because we don't do stuff that much honestly like going out to eat or doing fun stuff we really don't because we just study all the time but like even today my friend usually my friend and I if we have to go pick up a package from town we always eat lunch at this one place in town and I had to tell her no and that was really hard like I couldn't even be honest about it I instead of telling her no I'm trying not to spend money this month I just said no I ate you know I ate already I'm not hungry so that was a win but I'm gonna try to keep winning for the rest of the month so let me see I'm gonna take um, out of here 100 for produce and then 50 for gas and I may or may not actually need that whole 50 for gas if I probably what I will do is since I'm giving myself the 50 for gas when I'm running low I will just put the whole thing in there and then anything I have extra will just roll over you know obviously that'll just stay in the tank for December and that'll just help me December cheaper so that will leave me then with 750 in sort of like an emergency fund in my drawer which is fine um and honestly I might just leave this amount in my bank account when it actually comes to December I might just leave that amount in my bank account and use this cash because it'll probably come out close to the same let me see wow that's okay so this amount is only 50 US off from that amount so I probably will end up in that way I don't have to go to the ATM basically is what I'm saying and then what I'll use this cash when I do my cash envelopes in December so I'll make a video about that when the time comes okay so let's see where's my white pen okay so I'll probably go over that again later this I really like this pen but you have to write with it a certain way and that way is not fast and I just wrote fast so that's why I didn't look so lovely so basically let's see um, okay so my rent I paid already I paid it online I paid it all at once at the beginning of the semester 
electric. Honestly, I'll just put a question mark there in case he does give us the bill this month, which is possible but not likely. He literally gives us our electric, our landlord gives us our electric bills like insanely late. Um, gonna allow myself 85 for that because I said I wanted to give myself 50 more and I already put 35 in at the beginning. Internet's been paid also. Okay. So, for groceries, um, I did do a big grocery shop at the beginning of the month, and I don't remember how much it was. I'll just write the date so that I can write it down, and then... That'll be cash that I give myself for that. And then... Eating out, hopefully, will be zero. Miscellaneous, zero. And petty cash. Zero. Okay. So, those are the things that I usually spend money on. Um, what I want to do is basically corner this off and then leave the rest for me to write what I've been spending. And ideally, I will end up all this spending um, I want to plug it into an Excel sheet later but I think if I have a spot to actually write it down that I might actually write it down for a change so you know on 11 to 35 cash for gas um, I don't remember how much it was I'll have to look at my receipt um, Best Buy is the name of the grocery store. And then, oh yeah, I bought, this was like my fail day. I did so bad this day. Um, 10, cash, jewels, I bought soda. I'm like officially completely out of soda at my house, so yeah, the rest of this month is going to be soda free. We will see how it goes. And then lunch on campus that day. I was just doing real bad that day. And then I really, I should give myself, actually, I have a few dollars left in my wallet and I'm just going to consider that like my miscellaneous fund until it's gone because I haven't added it in here anywhere. It's because like today I had a package come and when you pick up your package you have to pay a customs fee. It's only five dollars which is like 250 US. It would have been ten dollars because you have to pay five dollars to park but I drove around until I found a free parking spot because I'm a Taiwan. So that worked out. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna track everything like that. And this probably wasn't honestly the best month for me to do a budget video because I'm not doing a lot um, with this like no spend November. You guys can let me know if you want me to do, even if I have like one person that requests for me to do a video about my no spend November and like the rules that I set for myself and all that type of stuff, I'll be glad to do that or like how I did my meal plan for the entire month. Um, just let me know and then I'll definitely do a video at the end of the month about how it went, how this tracking went, and then of course a December budget video. So thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!